What is going on guys? Clag2512 here and we are playing WWE 2K18. First video on the channel of this new wrestling game. We have the Hardy Boys with Leah and Edge and Christian. So I've played, this is going to be this is the first episode, it's going to be the reviews, my thoughts, my opinions on the game. And it's going to be mostly me talking and things like that, which makes a change after all Telltale games. It's been on my channel as of late, and now it's a flying forearm. I don't go for a drop kick. Oh, a stomp. So, uh, like I said, I played this game for ah, 12 hours at this point. I got it on the 17th. Which it's is going to be early, like two weeks I really like what I'm seeing later by the time this video goes live. It all it all makes sense. I've got backlog and things again, and, and I wasn't going to I wasn't going to change the system to like acquire this in, it's but things got lagged down, and He's I got and too into no playing the Walking No uh, Game of Thrones, even the Walking Dead, my ass. So mixed feelings about the game. It looks it looks great. I mean, the, the entrances and the character models, uh, the Hardy Boys are created at this point, so don't... Uh, I have got the scene pass, and I'll get the characters as they come out and all that fun stuff, but at the moment it's just two created characters, created by very talented people on community creations, as well as with Leos costume, even. The, uh, the gameplay, yeah, pretty solid. They've got the new grapple system in, they've got the a new hot tag system, which you'll probably see throughout this match. <laughs> They've got the eight man matches which don't run that well on an ordinary PS4. You've got a PS4 Pro, great, good for you, your eight man matches will be great. I've got the regular PS4 and oh the frame rate issue you get with it. Uh it's not unplayable. When I say that it's not unplayable, it doesn't destroy the game, but you look at how smooth it is just now. It's running yeah, about half speed. So half speed, about, like, that's kind of level it's working it when it's the eight man match. Funnily enough though, when it's seven people, the game Attack. runs perfectly fine. I've done uh, eight man battle royals and when it gets to seven people, perfectly fine. The game doesn't mess up, it's, it just runs at a good smooth frame rate. Um, well, so Royal Rumble, I've played Royal Rumble, and the new elimination system that they've got is if you're on the ropes, you can get an old one, uh, in fact, start from the beginning, right, Royal Rumble, you can have eight people on the ring, the eliminations for said Rumble are totally different, they've changed the system, before you'd have button prompts on the screen, you'd have to hit them enough, and your opponent would pretty much be out if you're good at it, you'd try to beat them to the button or something like that. Uh, but now you've got a bar that goes back and forth, and you've got to get that bar to say uh, eliminate before the time, before the animation runs through, and to get back in the ring. There you can still do corner ones. They've changed as well to the button mashing. It's all button mashing this year. Uh, you've got running eliminations. So basically, what I did there, you can use that to eliminate people as well. You can punch people when they're holding the ropes. I think it's three or four punches to eliminate someone. Uh, you can run at them and clothesline them out if they're standing where I am but groggy against the ropes you can clothesline out like that they can also reverse you there so you've got to be careful is it worth the risk of trying to clothesline someone out of the ring also uh, maybe it's me that got annoyed in the Royal Rumble there would always be that when you throw them off the ropes and they would sort of flip over and hang on and things like that and pull themselves back in the ring that irritated me like irritated me like crazy so now they've actually added a new feature and so you can bump them off when they're trying to pull themselves back in. Pretty cool. Again, they can reverse it to try and stop you. So that's the Royal Rumble covered. And it's fun. You can in, in the, Oh, Royal Rumble even. Speaking about Royal Rumble, in the match options, before you play the Rumble, you can change the interval between how long they come in. By default, it's set to two minutes. I changed it up to a minute, me and Toxic, me and him were playing on a rumble and we changed it to a minute and a minute was quick enough. Two minutes could probably drag on, it would take an hour to get everyone out in the ring to begin with. You can turn it down to 30 seconds, it's the quickest time you can have. But yeah, remember to do that in a Royal Rumble if you if you remember, just to try and get through a bit quicker. Sure, you're playing for, uh, one match hit for an hour, it's all fun and all, but it, it's got to drag on. Right, that, that's going to cover the Royal Rumble. Uh, I'm going to speak about... Uh, hey, let's go Elimination Chamber. New Elimination Chamber. It's pretty cool. Um, 
You can get six people in it, normal. Oh, here comes the hot tag I was talking about earlier. So Christian's out. Edge has got a little bit of a buff to come in the ring. We're still going for Christian. You just swap that target. Elimination Chamber, pretty much the same. Uh, I've played the new, the new Chamber. Pretty cool. I, I like the new dives off the top of the pods. If you do that, instead of being the normal fall, you do like cross body things. That's pretty cool. New animations for that as well. Uh, pretty much... Bar that, the elimination chamber hasn't changed too much. I didn't try climbing the walls. I don't know if they fix the glitch when you can't climb left to right or anything like that. You can still dive off it. Do, 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 do. That's pretty much the chamber. Oh, people actually walk out of the ring. This time when they're eliminated, instead of just actually watch the door, pardon. They don't just walk out any side that's closest to them. Um, that's pretty much eight man ladder matches. The same as a normal ladder match. Eight man matches are pretty hectic. Because there's eight people on the screen now. They've got a new rollout system. In fact, they've improved the rollout system from last year. In a tornado tag match, both you can both of you two can roll out of the regular here. It's a new grapple system. So you press wrap the top circle to get out of it. You use R1 in the right stick, and I'm guessing it'll be RB in the right stick in the Xbox One. I'm assuming so. I don't know. So don't quote me on these things. I don't know. I don't play on Xbox. Uh. Ah, uh, Mr. Reversal. What the, the hell is it talking about? Chamber. Eight man ladder matches are crazy. Yep, I said that. I haven't played Backstage Brawl. Okay. And I said that. I've played a little bit of the Backstage ball, Brawl in career mode. Because you had to do that cause, uh, the way I sided with people point, and all that fun stuff. That well uh, I didn't get a chance Second to explore or have too much fun with it because oh, no, my guy is like 55 down. in career Whoa, mode. So it was a case of trying and winning without getting myself killed too badly. Look at this. Here he goes. False Cut Anywhere matches are still a thing. Uh, with the Just fatal four way False Cut Anywhere matches, tonight. you can't go backstage. Even if you change it to elimination and things like that, I thought that was pretty, pretty bad because I was wanting to go exploring, but unfortunately, you can't do that. Uh, what else was there? Creation Suite. I'm moving away from Back match type now. This is going to be a random video. I'm just going to cover as much as possible before this match ends. Creation Suite has been revamped. Not too much new things to it. You've got obviously you've got some new moves, uh, new items, updated wrestling items, and things like that. A lot of the old stuff, not too many new stuff that I noticed. You can uh, now make things neon and glow in the dark, or black light even. Sorry, glow in the dark and black light. Glow in the dark is really cool. You'll see that on my character once we get to get to a match with him. Uh, you can also emboss things like tattoos and. Tattoos and give him a glow and He's things like that, which is pretty cool. In Boston, I can tattoo. Max will look like a Brandon. Like you've been actually branded the hot poker, which is pretty cool. You can make some cool things with it if you time it right or edit it right and things like that. Entrances is pretty much the same. Same with create a title. Oh, what else? So there's a move set. New moves. New game. New moves, obviously. There's a new move pack coming out as well at some point in this year. Next year. Next year, I think it is. So there'll be more moves than that. Uh, DLC characters moving the DLC characters are out. Um, season pass. Let's cover this. Let's get this out of the way in the first episode. I'll try and leave my bitching and moaning complaining to this video. I'll try. So, when 2K, this is going back a little while now, when 2K announced the Season Pass content, it was a case of all the, the YouTubers the that were two k yeah. are paid by 2K were no all at their event and all filming and really busy with that. And I don't know how many of them, maybe they have in live streams, talked about you know, the Season Pass and what you're getting, but from what it was last year, to this year, there's been a. They've, they've screwed us over. They're sort of. In the UK, it's 25 pounds. And in America, it's 30 dollars. So for the exact same price, you're not getting anything more. You're not getting a showcase mode this year. And their NXT starter pack is now in the season pass. I would rather have a more new sets, a showcase mode, more characters, something else. Of course, I bought it. I bought the normal edition of the game. So you won't see RVD or Batista on my channel until they become available to purchase and it's a price I'm willing to pay for them. So you won't see them unfortunately. Some of my, my two favourite some of my favourite wrestlers if I I realised later on, well two days before my game was delivered, that if I ordered the deluxe edition, some people actually got the keys down R V D. Don't know if that was just for some people or if that was just what the deluxe edition was. If it was I screwed myself over there because I saw someone unbox the deluxe edition and it was there. 
And I've also seen people unbox the Seen Enough Edition and it's a del deluxe edition they get. And it's in the actual box. So I've, I screwed myself on that part of things. Which I'm pretty annoyed with. Yeah, Back to the season pass though. Damage, the content we're getting this year is a lot less than last year. And all the YouTubers that are 2K affiliated, you've got Den Cops, oh, bloody hell, the Smack Talk 101. All these guys were all at a press conference. I don't know if they've covered it. I am trying to keep attention. There has been one or two smaller chat. Well, not big channels compared to me, but not 2K affiliated. Not, not on a contract with them. Mentioned it and tried to bring a light to all, everyone that how if we let developers continuously charge us the same thing and no one's complaining and no one's questioning why we're paying the exact same for less if you're going to get less and less content they're going to keep trying to charge us and charge us more i know in fallout they charge you the set price but comparing what you got in fallout i don't know why i fall i remember my friend buying the fallout season pass and all that even the black ops and battlefield and borderlands destiny all that for your season pass and things like that. The content, sure, the season pass is still expensive, but you're getting a lot of content. And this year, I don't think you get enough content with this game. Of course, I'm going to play all your round. That's why I bought the season pass, because I know, I think it's a pound to every hour of gameplay. Essentially, in my head, if I'm buying a game, I need to get a pound out of it. Every hour, to me, is a pound towards the game, which it's like just so if I play a game for four hours I think it's gonna be worth it to me it's worth 40 quid obviously the value system that I work with means nothing but it's how I work when I'm buying a game if I look at a game okay how much how long do I think I'm gonna play this realistically sure sometimes I'm surprised how long I play for it play the game even and the next time I'm really disappointed with how much a game costs and how much I actually played it so caliber 5 springs to mind paid, paid 40 for for that game and I played maybe 20 hours of it. I really did not enjoy that game. I'm really disappointed I paid that much for it. Uh, I'm getting off topic again. So season pass this year hopefully improves drastically next year. Or 2K is going to have some questions to answer. I'm going to end this I'm going to try to end this match now and I'll, I'll continue what I think of the game in the next one. Well, we've got five stars, and the match is kind of over. They've kind of, I've kind of destroyed them. Uh, what we're going to talk about for the last couple more minutes. Um, <laughs> I had I had a rant, not a rant, but this what I give you guys my opinions, my feelings, my view on the game. Since I don't do a lot of voiceovers, I'm going to try and get more voiceovers. If, if I can, this, I will try and keep doing videos every day. So if I can't get a voiceover done, I don't want to just not do a video. Which, if, depending on my schedule changes in the future, it could turn to that. And if it does turn to that, then it's just going to be the way it is. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I don't know. Oh, clothesline spear combo. I don't know what I was going to say there, but the clothesline spear was vicious there. Can I kick out? I kicked out. I was kind of worried there. I thought I wasn't going to kick out in time. But yeah, uh, universe mode I haven't touched. Not even created a universe mode. Not done anything with that. So I can't give my opinions on that. From what I hear, it's much and such the same as it's been since. Third. We'll go with uh, 2K14. 2K13 was the worst universe mode in my opinion. Just because so many of the. So many of the oh twist of fate by edge. So many of the cutscenes were locked behind. You have to be a legend. You have to have a have to be a legend in the feud to get them to work. So, uh, they have they've made a power ranking and stuff like that. They haven't tried to improve it. But I, like I say, I can't comment on it. I haven't played it. And even with career mode, I've only played like five hours of it. So I can't really give too much comment on my opinions on career mode. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's fun to walk around backstage. I mean, they're trying. The conversations you can have with people aren't real conversations. It's more of a case of this is what you're gonna say. And some of the what well, some of the characters what they say is like this character would never say that. And the sentences don't even make sense. Fair enough. What I say doesn't always make sense, but. I like to think I have a basic grasp of the English language, but some of the dialogues, things you read, are like, who, how does that make sense? What, how did that get 
pass into this game without having someone question or check it. Again, I will have more pains on that as I play more of the career mode and as I get further through the game and all that fun stuff. So we're going to try and go for the Team Extreme, the Twist of Fate Swanton combo, hopefully. Damage, Jeff. Come on. There we go. My heart is going up for the Swanton Bomb. This what place is this time. Are they going For the cover. Switch to Jeff. Jeff, stand up, Jeff. Oh, Christian broke up. So well, this match is not this over yet. Ah, so dead. Right. Uh, what else have we done? I haven't played anything online, so I don't know oh, how man, good servers are or anything like that this year. I've heard mixing sort of road to glory. I wait. I spent five minutes trying to get into a game yesterday. Never happens. I just backed out of it and played career mode. Loot boxes. Loot boxes in WWE is now a thing. <sighs> There's so many different ways because I went about adding something like that and they're just throwing it in and the it's a loot box. It, and a in career finish. mode, your, your customized options at the beginning of the game is very, very limited. You get a dozen choices for each category maybe. And after that, you put earn VC to buy loot boxes. Which, okay, fair enough, the unlocks stuff at different paces, and it, it could be fun, it could be interesting. But the, the loot boxes cost 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000, that's three you get a pick from. And once you unlock them, a move or a new outfit or anything like that, you then have to purchase it in the customization options to actually unlock said item. And earning VC in this game isn't easy. I mean, that's a five-star match, right? Fair enough, we're just playing play mode, there's no nothing on the line, it's not affecting career mode or anything like that. We do, we'll watch highlights and you'll see how much VC I earn for this match. And when you put it in the grand scheme of things, you can't buy VC with real money, which is great. I hate the fact that some people can pay to, pay to cheat, pay to advance yourself. You know, the whole free-to-play people are hot bores often premium members because they paid us money. All that crap. This game doesn't do that yet. But as you, as 2K is more and more developing time with the wrestling game, they're changing it more and more like NBA. Where VC and are hard, is hard to earn, so they try and encourage you to purchase it. You know, it's just just once or twice, just give us a little give us five pounds and we'll give you X now. Oh, okay, that's my character. Hopefully, and I mean really hopefully, microtransactions don't make their way into this game. That is my hope. Because if it do it does, it can be a pain. Look, I earned 375 VC. And you've got to earn a thousand, five thousand, and ten thousand. And then items range from twenty-five VC to I think it's a couple hundred VC. That is a lot of VC you've got to earn. And when you're earning 375 it's going to take a long time. Fair enough, in some loot boxes you can get awarded VC, but the VC amounts vary from, I think I've seen, a couple hundred to ten thousand. So, I'm going to leave it there for this video. I think I've ratted enough for this one. So, I thank you guys for watching the first to do 2K18 video on this channel. Thanks for watching this WWE 2K18 video. If you see more wrestling videos from me, click that first playlist. If you want to see a video that YouTube has picked just for you, click that second playlist. If you want to see more videos from me, click that subscribe button.